All right. All right. Shalom, shalom. This is another GMS lesson. Come back at you. Before we do get into this lesson, we want to give our honor, our glory, and our praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashem. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Bahashem. Rechakodash. Rechakodash. That's right. And, double honor, and next up, double honor to our apostle elders, Great Millstone, who taught us 100% truth for the Bible, who rule well. Peace, love, salutations, all the brothers across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth, you know, in all diligence and in sincerity. And, you know, the title of this lesson, um, you know, uh, well, first and foremost, I'm the brother Shawai from the uh, YouTube channel, GMS Cry Loud. I'm the brother Nakam, channel the GMS Stay Woke. All right, and you know, um, we came to you again with a, a little one, another elephant lesson, um, named uh, Raiji and Depart. Man, we're just gonna dive right into the scriptures, man. Um, brother, if you if you could, if you don't have anything already, um, you can get uh, Micah 2 and 10. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, right. The scriptures say a rise in the part, and we're gonna see exactly, you know, Lord went through the scriptures, prove exactly what that's talking about, man. Does that mean you need to physically get up, you know, buy plane tickets and get your family, you know, away from this place called America, aka Babylon the Great? Or is it time to tell you something else? This is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Exactly. This place called America, aka Babylon the Great, is not your rest. These scriptures are only for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, along with the Israelite foreigners. And the message is to arise and depart, man. America is not your rest. So spiritually, you have to uh, repent, turn back softly to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, to your power, Yahweh by Shem Shai, and arise from this place spiritually, man, you know? And to uh, take on the things that pleases the Lord, man. Because what? This place called America is, is not your rest, man. You can't hang your hat here in America, man. Read on. It reads on. Because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. That's right. And like the brother just read, he said, it is polluted, man. Polluted with what? First and foremost, it's polluted with the blood of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, man. E, the so-called white man, how did he get this land? By slaughtering the natives, right, who the so-called Native Americans, right, along with you other uh, Northern Kingdom tribes, right, um, you so-called uh, Latino tribes, right, slaughtering you, then the transatlantic slave trade, right, dealing you, um, you um, so-called Negroes, Jamaicans, and West Indians, right, and Haitians, right, dealing you, right, spilling your blood all over this land. So it's literally polluted with the blood of the saints, man. And we know through the scriptures, man, that the saints are uh, the Israelites, man. Right? That's right. You know, so, so that's right. Chime in real quick. You know, mm -hmm. so just basically in a nutshell, the southern kingdom and northern kingdom, all of Israel, mm -hmm. our blood has been polluted in this land, man. That's right. That's right. And then and then it's and then it's literally polluted with this devil spraying the chemtrails, right? The food is not real food, right? You know, and uh, you know, the uh with the air pollution, you know, you got these cars and all these other things that, he, that this devil has uh created and concocted that is literally destroying the earth because it is literally literally polluted here in America and all and all across the world, man, because all these other nations have been seduced and followed the philosophies of uh he, the so-called white man, you know. Um, That's and, right. And if you can read on, well, it says even destroy you even with the sore destruction, right? Because what this place called America, aka Babylon, is going to be destroyed with what 200 million ICBM missiles, right? That's the end of all be all, along with the calamities that are going to lead up to that, which is going to put some of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and the American death if you don't spiritually um, remove yourself from this place, man. Turn back to law, statute, commandments to the best of your ability, hearken into the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, right? And repent to the Lord, and Lord willing, you might be delivered from that destruction, man. That's right. That's right. Uh, and if um you could, if you can get Colossians three and one, and whenever you got something, you already, you already know. Okay. Colossians. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Oh, God, God. All right. So this thing is all a spiritual thing, man. This is a spiritual fight that we're fighting, man. And, you know, and if you want to Lord will and be delivered, you know, from the destruction that's coming, man, you have to take the necessary steps. Um, thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible, man. Uh, not leaning into your own understanding, man. You have to um, you have to rise apart from this place spiritually, man. Put your mind on things that are, uh, um, that last forever, man, which is the kingdom of heaven. Still like it, for sure. Oh, kind of, kind of, no, it's all good. Um, you know, yep, like I was just saying through the spirit, man, we have to, we have, those of us who are, who are turning back, right, who are repenting and want to be delivered, man, we are, we have our minds on uh, the spiritual things that uh, we want to obtain. You got it? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. This is Colossians chapter three, verse one. If ye then be risen with Hamashiach, mm -hmm. seek those things. Which are above. That's right. And what and what are those things that are above? First and foremost, most importantly, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, right? Who the word ignorantly calls God, whose name is He is, He exists, right? And through the name, and it said, if you be risen with a Mashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus and our Lord and Savior, Lord Yahweh Shai, right? Lord Yahweh Shai is on the right hand side, right? And that's what we're seeking because what? Um, these these are the words of the Heavenly Father, and the Lord Yahweh Shah is the embodiment of these words. So as long as we have these words, these words th themselves are spiritual, man, above the spiritual world, man. So as long as we obtain these words, man, uh, and the scriptures that are within, we are we are we are looking above. We are looking um, to obtain the spiritual things, man, and not the carnal things here, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, it reads on where the Mashiach sitteth on the mm -hmm. right hand of Yahweh. Exactly. I spoke too soon. That was there. Yeah, that was another point too, because that's where the Lord is. Mm -hmm. Verse two: Set your affection on things above. That's right. Set your affection. So some of the things that I just named through the Spirit, that's where our affection is. Where our affection is our love, our attention. Excuse me. Uh, you know the things that we desire. We we desire what the kingdom of heaven, man. Ever the everlasting kingdom. Uh, for Israelites to be on top and to never be ashamed ever and confounded again, man. That's what we're looking for, you know. It reads yeah. on, not yeah. on things on the earth. That's right, simple and plain. Not the cars, the clothes, the money, and the hoes, man. We don't, we don't, we're not, we're not worried about those things we, because we know those things are temporal, man. They're um, and that's the spirit. Those things are temporal. They're not going to last long. They're going. Uh, the scriptures say. Uh, which all these things be dissolved, roughly paraphrasing, what manner of conversation should you be in, man? So all these things are going to be destroyed anyway, so where should your mind be in these times? These things are not going to last forever. That's right. You know, just right paraphrasing, I can't remember the scripture, but the scripture says <clears throat> that scene, just right paraphrasing it, um, it, it's temporal, like you said, but yeah. the things that are not seen are forever. Yeah, Second Corinthians uh, chapter 4, 17 and 18, I was going to ask you to get that next. That's the spirit. Mm -hmm. It reads on verse three, for ye are dead, and your life is hid with Hamashiach and Yahweh. Kind, kind, kind. But that, the, that was the point in verse two, right there. So, like, I'm going to tell you that. Um, if you could, brother, get Second uh, Corinthians chapter four, since we already quoted it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna get one too, Romans. Okay, here it is. This is Second Corinthians chapter four, verse eighteen. While we look not at the oh, things which are you, seen, it's like it gets seventeen too. Kind, kind, kind. This is Second Corinthians chapter four, verse seventeen. For our light affliction, mm -hmm. which is but for a moment. That's right. That the brother beautiful just read through spirit. Our light affliction. This work that we're doing, you know. Even though sometimes you know we got to grind, we got to do what we got to do, you know, and you know uh, turning back. You know, leaving that old man behind. If sometimes it feels like like we gotta do the most, but what really this is a light affliction, man. This is something that that, that what, what we're going through, you know, being tempted and all these things um by following the Lord is nothing in comparison to what we're gonna receive for doing so, man. This is a light yes. affliction that we have to go through. Mm -hmm. It reads on for our light affliction, which is but for a moment mm -hmm. working for us. A far more exceeding 
and internal weight of glory. That's right. Just like I said, through the spirit, man, the, the, the light affliction, which is only for a little while, man, in comparison to what we're going to receive, an everlasting kingdom, man, being on top forever, having all these nations in subjection up under us, man, being being, being the rulers of the earth under Lord Yahweh Shah, first and foremost, of course, but what, man? You know, knowing knowing all things, man, and having the laws put in our hearts so we'll, we'll be perfect, man. We'll never, ever go off again, man. You know? It reads on verse 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, mm -hmm. but at the things which are not seen. Exactly. You know, and that's, and that's simple as plain, man. We look at the things that we haven't obtained yet, like the kingdom of heaven, right? Be, uh, seeing all of Israel put up on a high, high state again, right? Never seeing any of our people uh, being low and going off again, you know, uh, our, being, being able to enjoy our children, being able to enjoy Lord Yahweh Shai, being able to have all the answers of the universe, man, and getting payback on these heathens for what they took us through here on this side, man. You know, that's the things that we're looking for. Right. We're not worried about the things that are seen, man. You know, and to, and to be able to look for the things, you know, which we can't see. It's called faith, man. You have to have That's faith right. for the things that you can't see. And everybody right, don't have man. it. That's right. It reads on, but at the things which are not seen. Mm -hmm. For the things which are seen are temporal. That's right. And I they're temporal, man. The things that are seen, these big old houses, these superstars with all this money, man, being able to buy all these cars and clothes and all these women that are, um, you know, that are, uh, all the attention they get from these women and and you know things of such. It's only temporal, man. Because when the Lord comes back, He's going to destroy everything that He sees fits to destroy, save the elect, man. And then the elect is going to usher in the kingdom of heaven with the Lord, and then everything will be set right, man. So don't, don't, don't get caught up in the things that are here, man. The scriptures say, "Be users of the word, not abusers of it, man." So what well, we we take the things that we do here for what it, for what it's for, and then we go on about our business, man, because we're awaiting something far greater, man. You know. It reads on, but the things which are not seen are eternal. That's right. The things that are not seen are eternal. Just like all the things that me and the brother through the spirit were saying, those things are gonna last forever, man. An everlasting kingdom, man. You know, and that's ultimately what we what we're what we're praying and hoping that we be delivered, be delivered and uh, be able to uh be the first fruits of man, partakers in the kingdom of heaven on the first go around, man. You know, and brother, if you got anything or not. No, we can close out right there. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and close it out. Lil Wayne, that was edifying and straight to the point. Uh, before we do close it out, we're going to give our honor, our glory, and our praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashim. Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim. Hashem. Recha Kodash. Kodash. You know, next up, don't worry, so I'll pass the Elder's Great Mill. It's like it's like a peace, love, citation, all the brothers across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in our diligence and sincerity. Till next time we say, Shalom. Shalom.